Sending positive vibes to all truth seekers. Welcome to the Library of Humanity. If you stick with me in this episode, you may awaken because I'm going to show you a little bit of what it looks like to be awakened. So the first thing is that I am you and you are not you. (laughs) So as you watch this video, what's going to happen is you're going to begin to identify with me instead of you. It's because you are perceiving me or you believe that you are perceiving me, the person who is making this video. But actually, you are only me. (laughs) And you are only the outside world that you would call this outside world. So you are you are the the phone or the computer that you're watching this video on. You are the screen that you're watching the video on. And for example, behind me here there's a flag, the Swaziland flag actually. Swaziland in southern Africa. That is you. You are not you. <laughs> Actually, you are everything besides you. Let me repeat that. You are everything besides yourself. So please intently, with a lot of consciousness, watch this video and see that I am you and you are not you. So everything I am doing is created by you. Because I am not myself either. So actually, we're kind of switching parts. You are me, and I am basically you. Even though I can't see you right now, I can only see the phone, but I can kind of imagine you watching the video. But I, I'm, I'm you, and you are me. So we're kind of switching places. So if we open our minds to this fact, it is very possible to awaken. So now that you're a little bit deeper, see that... When you when you inquire, when you go into yourself, you see that you aren't anything. So when you're when you're looking at me, you're asking yourself, who who is watching this video? Who is watching this video? Or what is watching this video? Or what is perceiving the world? So you can go past this video now. You can just see like who is perceiving the world. Or in my previous video, I said, who is this world for? Or who are these thoughts for? So the thoughts that arrive in your mind, you are the thoughts and you are not the thing perceiving the thoughts. The thoughts have no, the thoughts are not for anybody and the world is not for anybody. There's no who there. So if you ask like, who is the world for? There is no who, it's just the world. So who is making this video? Nobody's making this video. (laughs) There is nobody making this video. There is just the universe. That's all that is, is just being. And being is actually, the universe is occurring within being. So being is much, much greater than the universe. Uh, This video is being made inside existence. And really, that is all that there is. So you can start to melt your identity of what you are, the idea of what you are, your, I would ask you, what is your name? And maybe your name is Sam, and I say, Sam is an idea. (laughs) For example, for me, my name is Kyle, and I say that Kyle is an idea. And that came into existence at one point. Uh, But it, in moments like these, it kind of falls away, and it just dissolves into the world. If you imagine pouring salt in the water, that's kind of like the self during awakenings and during deep, deep, deep meditating. So I would encourage to watch this video again. I'm going to make it short here, only about four and a half minutes. But please focus your attention on the fact that you are the world and you are not you. You are everything besides you. Peace.